Let's go over compare the triplets. The question says Alice and Bob each created a one problem for hacker rank. A reviewer rates two challenges awarding points on a scale from 1 to 100 for three categories. Okay, problem clarity, originality, and difficulty. The rating for Alice's challenge is a triplet. So we have an array. Uh, and the rating for Bob's challenge is this. And these are the scores. First one representing problem clarity, second originality, and difficulty. The task is to find their comparison points by comparing A at index 0, B at index 0, A1 to B1, and A2 to B2. And if A is greater than, greater than B at index I, Alice gets a point. If B is greater, Bob gets a point. If it's equal to each other, no one gets a point. Comparison points is a total points a person earned. Given A and B, A representing Alice and B representing Bob, determine their respective comparison points. Okay, so we have an example over here and A, like I said before, A is Alice and B is Bob. So what we want to do is we want to compare each element at index i, right? So we want to compare 1 to 3, 2 to 2, and 3 to 1. And if we compare 1 to 3, who has a higher uh, point? Bob does, right? Because 3 is greater than 1. So give him a point. And next we have 2 and 2. They're equal to each other. So no one gets a point. Neither person receives a point. And last element, 3 is bigger than 1. So Alice gets a point. And we're left with... Uh, one point on each side or each person has a point so four elements at index 0 Bob is awarded a point because a0 so a to the index 0 which is 3 um, and these are finally the elements okay for equal elements a at index 1 and b at index 1 no one gets a point and last one um, Alice gets a point so it's pretty a repetition of what I just uh, explained function description uh, complete the function Compare triplets. So this is going to be the name of our function. In the editor below, compare triplets has the following parameters. So it has int a index 3 and int b index 3. A representing Alice and b representing Bob. So it's basically saying that it has an um, array of integers. And we want to return. This is, so this is what we want as the result. Int Two. Alice's score is in the first position and Bob's score is in the second. So what they're saying is that we want an array with Alice's score and Bob's score. And these are going to be numbers or integers. So input format, the first line contains three spaced integers, A0, A1, A2. Uh, second line contains three spaced integers, B, B0, B1, and B2. So this is kind of a repetition of uh, what we got before. So we get an array with uh, three numbers. I'll just put in arbitrary numbers. And this is Bob and this is Alice. So constraint, um, just have to take a look. And this is A and this is B. And let's compare them. So we have Alice and Bob. So Alice is greater, so we give her a point. They're equal to each other. We don't give anyone a point. And here Bob is higher. So as a result, we have one score for each, right? And we want to return this as our result. Because again, they wanted us to return an array of integers for Alice's score and Bob's score. And the rest of the uh, exp explanations and other sample sample problems are uh, pretty much a repetition of this pattern. Now let's code our result. If you guys find this helpful, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Thanks. So we make our function compare triplets, which takes in two parameters, A and B, and these are arrays, right? So we have Alice here, um, and this is Bob's score. What we're going to do is we're going to declare two variables, uh, one that stores Alice's score and one that scores uh, Bob's score. So let's make a name it A score for Alice. Now set it to zero, and let's name it B score for Bob. And remember, we want to return our result in an array, and Alice's score comes first, and next is gonna be uh, Bob's score. So that's how we're gonna re return our result. 
And right now it's just gonna be set to zero because we didn't compare any of the numbers yet. So in order to compare numbers, what we're going to do is we're going to iterate through our array. So we'll use our for loop for let i is equal to zero, i is less than a dot length, or you could do b dot length, it doesn't matter. And then we're gonna increment i by one each time. And we need our if statement because we need to compare if uh, Alice's score is bigger or Bob's score is bigger. So let's do if a at index i is greater than b at index i. So if Alice's score is bigger than Bob's score, we want to increase Bob, I mean Alice's score, right? So Alice score plus plus. And now we want to check if um, Bob's score is greater than Alice's score. So else if a at index i, and this time it's going to be less than, right? b at index i. And since Bob's score is bigger, we want to increase Bob's score plus plus. And remember, uh, we had the condition if they're equal to each other, um, they both get zero points, right? So instead of doing um, another else statement, we actually, we actually can just leave it like this. Um, if we do get a condition where they're equal to each other, it will just skip and just go to the uh, for loop again. And this is our result. Um, I mean, we're actually done with our coding part. And as you can see, we have our result over here. So 1, 1, 1, 1, and 2, 1. Okay, let's um, go through the logic of this problem. So we declare our function, which takes in two parameters and their arrays with integers. So basically numbers. And we declare two variables, a score and b score, and this is going to check uh, Allison's score and Bob's score. So in order for us to compare numbers, we want to go through all the items in our array, right? And we do that by using a for loop, and we do it, we loop it through until as i is less than the length of um, the first first array, or you could use to b dot length. It doesn't matter, and we check. Um, is Alice's number bigger than Bob's number? If yes, we're going to increase our score by one. If else if, is Alice's score less than Bob's score? Meaning Bob has a high score, obviously. If that's true, we want to increase Bob's score by one. And remember, if they're equal to each other, um, no one gets a point. So we just skip that part. So for our first iteration, A at index I is going to be one. B at index I is going to be three. So which one's bigger? Three is bigger, right? So Bob gets a point. Next iteration, we have two and two. They're equal to each other, so no one gets a point. Um, so we have two is equal to two. No one gets a point. And now it's three and one. Three and one. Which one's bigger? Alice is bigger, so Alice gets a point. And remember, they want us to return an array with Alice's score and Bob's score. And right now it's one to one. And that's pretty much, pretty much the uh, logic of the problem.